An apology in advance for video and audio quality, not how it typically is, but it was a last minute video and I didn't have my camera, dot dot dot. Hello and welcome back to whatever it is I do here today, if you haven't been here before. I'm usually working on German vehicles and Volkswagens and things as such. But today we have a beautiful 2019 GMC Sierra Dirty Max and we are going to be swapping out the grill with the black one. So I know what some people might be thinking, okay, well what about this chrome piece and this chrome piece and then also on the hood, here's a scoop. The trend that's chrome. This is the person's request, so we're just gonna go with it. Long story short, we're gonna get started. I have a official General Motors accessory manual. Little did I know here, I would want to set these instructions on fire later. So the 2500s and 3500s are significantly easier to actually pull the grill off. I think on the 1500s, you actually have to remove the fascia. So we're gonna uh, not jinx ourselves and say it's gonna be easy because I know we're gonna run into some bullshit. Yep. Love that. We're off to a great start. I'm gonna keep everything in this dustpan just for safekeeping. Cause we're all about safekeeping here. I'm like picturing the tool that all the techs have in their box and I understand why they have it. Yeah, they're clear. For those of you who are content creators, which probably might not be many, um, a ring light is way overrated. You need to get yourself one of these Milwaukee tripods because this is what I use for all my TikToks and a lot of my content. Yeah, it's uh, 15. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's like 15. I'm just so used to tight space. Well, yeah, I have to peel this back. And then there's like a screw or a bolt or two that I can. I'm loyal to my brand. <laughs> <laughs> my daddy drove a Chevrolet. First time I ever drove was when I was six years old, right through that car field over there. And you just smoked cigarettes in the front seat while you drove me around town. <laughs> <laughs> Why do these tires smell like an unwashed dog? Like, you know when you don't wash your dog in a while and you're like, damn, you need a bath. This is what the tires, that's what the tires smell like. Um, okay. Gonna peel this hoe back. All right, the hair is going up for this one. I can't stop talking with a drawl now. I gotta wash my hair anyways, it's fucking gross. I totally look like a greaser because I am a greaser right now. If y'all were wondering, oh, I did it again, y'all. All right, battery turned off, but we're in the clear. Wait, so you have to take the off Bro, where is this? The washer food reservoir is like right there. It says to take it back halfway. Where is this? All right, y'all. I just paused it because I'm so confused. I take back the wheel liner. I don't know what these instructions are impaling, but looking at the front end of it, these instructions are for a 1500, not a 2500. So I'm pretty positive I just ripped the wheel liner out and the fender floor off for no fucking reason. Because I just watched a video on YouTube of a guy taking the shield off on the top like we did, popping this off. He did it in like two minutes. I can't make this shit up. So I should have noticed that the photos are of a 1500 truck. I thought you had to take the face off, so I didn't really think. It's That's okay, I know you're not thinking. You never do. That that was for a 1500, but now that I'm like looking behind the wheel well, and all I see is the big ass washer fluid reservoir in the way, and then I look behind there a little bit more with my phone, I'm like trying to record back there to see where I can just like put an extension into it. And then all I see is a bolt, like one bolt for the core support, which obviously is a what we're trying to get at here. I'm a little heated. I just wasted my time, but it's okay because we had fun doing it. Yeah, this is kind of here. This is so easy. Are you kidding me right now? Oh my god. Here's a time lapse of me resembling. I watched the guy on the YouTube machine and he says, now that I have this off, I should be able just to pull. 
Well, he just like freaking pulled that shit. He's like, <laughs> like that. deal so the other grill is essentially supposed to be blacked out right so at work I looked and the emblem was red and it's got black emblems so we're gonna have to transfer these uh, actually my service manager helped me take the emblem off of that grill so we're gonna try to transfer the black one over but the thing is these clips are super sensitive if they're really old and brittle and that one was brand new and it was already a so <laughs> I'm gonna try to get these as warm as possible he said when they're cold it's gonna be like El Snapo that much easier. So I'm gonna turn the space heater on, warm them up, and then we're gonna start. If I die on camera right now, I swear. You ever just have like a really weird sharp pain and you're like, this is it? I'm gonna try to stand up again. That was weird. It felt like I was about to die right there, but I think we're okay. So I have a horse, rod a grill. Oh, you got this one. All right, one down. Oh God, oh God, oh my God, we got it, guys. We didn't even break one. Look at that. Cool beans, swag, hashtag YOLO. All right, guys, the quality, I don't know how it's gonna look. It might look a little different. I'm recording on my phone now because this camera has died three times and I just put another battery in. Oh, but now you can finally see what this industrial size tripod looks like. Now you get to take the new girl and then transfer the emblem onto there. We're back to the other camera. Okay. I'm excited. This is actually going to look pretty badass. Alright, here is the moment of truth. I, I really don't know when that stopped recording at all. I'm sorry, but it is obviously finished. I think personally, it looks a lot better than what I thought and what a lot of people would think because at least it's not completely blacked out. You still have the chrome trim around the emblem and it kind of complements the other chrome trim, like the outlining around the fog lights. Anyways, same difference. You get what I'm saying? Thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, all the stuff with the things and the stuff. Meme of the week is gonna be right here in front of the new grill. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.